Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Check out these compact series batteries from XZNY. Small size format, huge capacity. These batteries aren't much larger than your standard Group 31 100 amp hour 12.8 volt battery, but these are packing a punch. Look at that, 310 amp hours in that one, 280. And for you 24 volt folks, right there, 100 amp hour compact 25.6 volt battery. Check it out, just small, small size with a lot of energy. But today I'm going to focus on the 12 volt setup right here. Going to check out these two right here. We'll talk about this one more later, but let me clear the workbench and we'll get started. So I just want to reiterate how small this battery really is. You know, I don't have a 100 amp hour battery up here to compare it to. But here are their official dimensions, and I checked with my tape measure, and the dimensions are spot on the money right there. These are both the same size, by the way, the 310 and the 280. The dimensions are the same, just the difference is the capacity inside. So right there, there's your official measurements. And the biggest difference between this and your Group 31 format is this one's mainly a couple inches taller. So just keep that in mind, but as far as energy dense in this compact package, you know, you got over three times energy, so a lot of energy right there to utilize. So how much energy am I talking about right here? Well, you could do, you know, I'm sure some of you already done the math, but I did it for you. Uh, 3.968 kilowatts or 3968 watt hours out of this one. 3.584 kilowatts or 3584 watt hours out of this one for a grand total of 7.552 kilowatts between these two batteries. That's enough energy in between these two batteries to run my house for 24 hours. That's impressive. And if your calculator's not handy, you just flip the battery around to the back and they've got your watt hours stamped on the back for you as well. Convenient. And when you purchase the XZNY battery, what do you get? When you get your warranty card, you get a nice little package. You get two sets of terminal bolts, different lengths, a short set, a long set. You get your comprehensive user manual that shows all your recommended charge discharge specifications, inverter settings, all that good stuff. And both of these batteries are equipped with a 200 amp BMS, by the way, and claiming low temp protection. So this is the plan. Charge this one, run the capacity test on this 310 right here, and then do a tear down on this 280 right here. Uh, why not pull down both of them? Like I said, that's more power in these batteries than I require for my house for a day. I'm not just going to cook off seven and a half kilowatts. So I'm gonna make a compromise with you and cook off roughly four kilowatts. Hopefully it'll make four kilowatts uh, out of this battery right here. That would be pretty nice. So, you know, they're the same battery, just different size cells. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I got the 310 amp hour unit fully charged and topped off off the commercial Noi Favo charger right there. And uh, that 25 amp charger takes a while to charge that big monster up. Their standard charge rate is actually 40 amps. So I probably need to invest into a larger size charger. But anyhow, I'm uh, gonna pull it off the charger. You can see, completed, and hook it to the capacity test rig and uh, pull it down. All right, I got the 310 amp hour XZNY hooked up to the capacity test rig, AKA the alpha inverter. Same test rig and same measuring as always. As you can see, the battery is at 14 volts. Go ahead and turn the inverter on. See, 14 volts right there. Uh, no energy has moved through the meter yet. So 14 volts under a five watt idle load. All right, this one's gonna be hit a little bit harder than I normally run them at cause that's gonna take forever to burn that off. So I'm going to connect the load now. It is the golf cart charger. So we'll see what it settles in at on this system right here and get you a reading once it uh, dials itself in. All right, there's what's gonna settle in at right there, right at 1100 watts, give or take. Still 13.4 volts in the battery and 80 amp load. So it's a bigger battery, so 80 amps should not affect its capacity. So I'm gonna pull it at 80 amps until the golf cart is full and then any remainder, I'll find something else to dump it into. Now I'm gonna work on this battery right here. It's now time for the teardown inspection on the XNY 12.8 volt, 280 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So I'm gonna see what the construction quality is on this battery, what kind of cells we got in here, BMS, low temp protection, all that good stuff. So, you know, it's intact. It won't be in just a minute. All right, it covers most of the way off the XNY 280. Save the last little bit of glue for you. 
Wow, look at that. Well, that's got a big old monster wire in it. Whoa, I think that's a, that is huge. I think that's the biggest one I've seen in any battery so far. Wow, those are large wires. Let me get you a better view. I just had to sit back for a minute and admire this battery. That is a one alt, 200 degree jacketed positive lead right there. And three number six is 200 degree jacket for the negative lead. Those are, that's, I'm just having to sit here and look at it because that is impressive. I mean, that is an absolute monster right there. Uh, wow, that's, that's all I can say so far. So I'm gonna take the top off, remove these terminals, get this out of the way so we can look at everything a little bit better. I mean, I'm still taken back by a one alt positive lead uh, and a battery right there. Look at that, that is just a monster. And everything is so super tight and professionally put together in this battery. Nothing at all is loose by any stretch of the imagination. 200 amp BMS XZ and Y branded as a XZ4S200A. Uh, so there you see your specs on a 200 amp charge and 200 amp discharge. Nice huge heat sink on this one. And if I spin around to the side right here, I'll give you another data point right here. SH08AOB is the actual part number from the manufacturer. So I cannot verify with 100% certainty, but it appears to be a Sihang technology board that's been custom contracted for XZNY battery. And for reference, Sihang Technology is a OEM supplier for battery management systems for a wide majority of the lithium iron phosphate and lithium ion market. One more look before I break this down any further. We got our negative temperature coefficient sensor right here because this is a low temp protected battery supposedly. We're going to test that in just a minute. Balance leads over here. Everything's in this nice wire loom, organized good. Uh, and we're using brass nuts right here instead of steel to hold down the negative and positive lead respectively. Uh, you know, nothing so far that sticks out. It all looks high quality. All right, that was uh, very difficult right there. Whatever adhesive they use right here is not like the other batteries. The other adhesives, this, this white color will just pop right off of stuff. I tried to knock the cells out of the casing and every trick in the book to get this cell pack out. It will not budge just sitting in a bed of this stuff right here with foam right here in the front for compression. So this is not coming out. So this is the best I could do for you. And almost, well, I did manage to bend the, the cell connectors in the process trying to get the glue off the uh, epoxy board or fiber board there. But, um, you know, look at it. It's constructed well. Here's our NTC sensor. It was glued down right here uh, on this cell connector. It was sitting right there. So that kind of popped off when I pulled all this off. But, uh, you know, just... Just showing you, you know, the glue stuff right there is super, super sticky on this one. You can see why I was breaking, breaking the fiber board and epoxy board when uh, I was trying to get that loose. But uh, anyhow, now time to check, uh, see how everything works on it. Here is the QR code for your reference if you want to dig into it a little further. I had a QR reader supposedly for lithium iron phosphate batteries and it did not pull up any information on this cell. Uh, they do appear to be brand new cells. I don't see any you know, any indication they're used or anything like that. So uh, I'll go with the manufacturer statement. They're brand new, uh, high quality sales. A little bit past the halfway mark on the 310 amp hour XZN Y. Uh, still at 12.75 volts under a 86 amp load. First test is high temp cutoff protection on the BMS. There's the sensor. Turn the charger back up right here. So we have a Something to reference right there. So we should disconnect charging if the high temp works. I'll apply heat and see how long it takes to cut it off. Thirty seconds. All right, back to charging. Now time to check the low temperature call protection. Supposed to have precise temperature control on our low temp cutout. So let's check that. Just a regular old ice pack here. And if it's got low temp protection around 32 or right near it, this will trigger it. All right, here we go. Wow, that was quick, 10 seconds. That is really fast. Wow, good to see that, excellent. Just gonna show you some more stuff on the 280 while the 310 amp hour one's still pulling down. Uh, you can check out the laser welds right there, you know, very professionally built. Uh, cell separator material between each cell right there. Just, uh, you know, I 
haven't found anything yet to knock it on. It's, uh, you know, meeting my expectations or exceeding them so far. Still pulling down the XZNY 310 amp hour battery. Uh, the golf cart has started slowing down. It's going into constant voltage phase. So our current dropped on the battery. Just wanted to make note of that. 3,278 watt hours so far. Got quite a bit more to go. All right, the golf cart has completed its charge. So almost three and a half kilowatts into the golf cart. So the XNY battery is still sitting at 12.87 volts. So I gotta find another load for it. All right, giving it a little bit of a hit right there, 120 amps. Uh, this is feeding a portable power station. So the current will taper down because as the battery charges up, the input current to the power station drops. So this will be coming down, but you know, just giving it another good hit. I'm not, uh, not being easy on it. All right, that's settled in around 100 amps uh, from the XNY battery into the alpha inverter. Remember, I'm feeding that portable power station, so this current will eventually taper down as the power station nears full state of charge. Well, the XZNY 310 amp hour battery is about to deliver its rated capacity. So I'll get it live for you as we roll over. There we go, 3968 watt hours so there's our money's worth and how much more does it have i don't know it's still looking pretty strong look at that still at 12.41 volts with a 50 almost 50 amp load to it so uh, it's a real performer about to drop out on the xny 310 amp hour battery so i'll just record until it drops out very impressive capacity the inverter should be cutting off any second now All right, the inverter just cut off 4,185 watt hours out of the XNY 310 amp hour. Wow. So the XNY 310, you know, nominally rated at 3968, delivered 4185, so roughly 5.5% over. Very impressive capacity, especially considering at times it was pulling out of it at over 100 amps. Very impressive. So I'll share my final thoughts on the XZNY Compact Series batteries. First off, can I recommend these batteries? Yes, I can recommend these batteries. I couldn't find anything uh, to knock them on, which is rare. Uh, good construction, you know, huge wire in this one, you know, great BMS, uh, low temp protection. I mean, I don't see anything to knock it on. Capacity-wise, I mean, 5.5% over, pulling it at 80 amps, sometimes 100 amps. I sh showed it no mercy. So I guarantee that number would go up some if it was pulled slower. So if you're looking for an off-grid or storage battery, RV battery, whatever, yeah, this you might want to look into these. As far as pricing on these batteries, uh, the battery price is currently, you know, not just XTY, but all manufacturers, they're kind of, you know, up and down day to day. So I'm not going to quote you an exact price because, you know, by the time this video comes out, the price may be different. But what I will do is put links in the description of the video so just click the link you know in the description and then you can see the current market price but xny is supposed to have some coupon codes and things like that come out on these so just just check and see if the price is you know good for you and they told me the price is going to be very competitive if not better than buying say three single you know 100 amp hour units together you know to make 300 amp hours and this one you know you only got one one bms to worry about instead of three different bms's and all the wire so if it was me you know instead of buying three 100 amp hour units i would prefer to have one 310 amp hour unit like this one right here just less problems to install, less cost overall. So keep that in mind if you're you're considering, you know, something like this versus three one hundreds. So I'll take a minute and thank everybody for watching today's video. Any questions or anything about these batteries, just let me know down in the comment section. I'll try my best to help you out. I appreciate everybody watching. Y'all take care and be safe. And special thanks to XNY for providing test samples today. Uh, without XNY providing these samples, this video production would not have been possible. Thank you.